Okay, I'm kind of concerned. I've got a puddle of water here near the front of the boat and I'm looking up here. And I'm seeing, it looks like water coming out somewhere in here. I don't know if it's seeping through the you know seeping through the fiberglass i don't there's really no holes of course this is an area that you know that you can bump into stumps and things like that this little area here see if I can get on it. seems a little concerning here but the water was coming you know from up here like there might be a little one here and so i don't know if that's a weakness in the boat uh, probably what I'm going to do is, at some point, is um, uh, knock this all off down to the fiberglass, and then put some pat, you know, put some layers of um, of a, uh, you know, layer up some fiberglass on that, and then repaint it. It'll be easy to get to and and take care of. I'm hoping that that that'll take care of whatever that might be going on there. Uh, that wasn't noticeable, when, you know, when I first, I don't know, I don't even know if it's supposed to leak in that type of area, you know, being in this, but obviously it's something coming out of there, so it's getting in there. So I'll, um, that's something I'll fix in the future. I don't know how much it's, how much water is getting in it, but I'll show you. Back here, I've noticed there's a little bit of water coming out right here. Apparently it's finding its way out here. I don't know if this area is what's going on there, but it, you know, it's just a little bit. But when I got the, when I got the boat back one day, uh, the next day I noticed there was a puddle of water coming down through here. So I put this bucket down and, and I drained that. Somehow it got water inside, you know, inside here. And I don't know if that's from leaking around the screw or what but um but there's a little bit left in there now that's not you know because it's that hole's just above the bottom a little bit but what i think i'm going to do you know obviously I, I, I this has been from two trips i didn't take it out and drain it um on the way home or anything um so you know the plan's going to be you know i'm going to go fishing tomorrow and i'm going to you know let it drain overnight if there's any more that comes up but you know this has been filled up twice well the first time was dumping it out of here got more than halfway up but from there it went ahead and filled up over one night and then it over the next two two or three days it filled up again and then here it is still coming out so i'm left to believe there's water in this hole so what i'm getting ready to do right now is drill a hole on the inside with that little bay area the thing is this way uh first and then maybe one that way or you know one on that side and one on this side of that uh, little shell area in there yeah i'll show you from the inside down in here i'm thinking about drilling a hole uh, on both sides so that anything in the hole can drain uh, drain out into this little portal area and in that way if it's getting water in there uh, i can drain it out a lot faster and not let it just slow drain out because i don't know how much water is getting in but uh, i'm going to drain that and we're going to see if any comes out real quick you can see it right there something's come out of the hole area i don't know if it's going to yeah it's coming out slowly and it's starting to now go out the back so we'll see how much it's piled, got up in there, but this is gonna be an easier way for it to hurry up and drain so it doesn't just uh, set up inside there inside the hole. And I'll probably do one on the other side if it needs it. It might help with the airflow and the uh, water flow that comes. I think drilling a hole on the other side might help it move faster if there is water in there because it, it'll be able to get more you know, airflow to allow it to flow through so I don't want to do that if I don't have to but um, 
I kind of got a feeling it's going to end up, that's going to end up happening just to make sure that any water that kind of piles up on either side of it uh, will have a quick way to get out. Okay, I went ahead and drill, drilled a hole on the other side over here and it really started coming out. So there's been water in that hole getting in, you know, I guess from all the times it's been in the water and hadn't. So I'm hoping what this will do is if it's going to get water in the hole, and I think, you know, that it's not uncommon that boats do. Um, this way, when I unplug it and I can, you know, I can check the bilge from time to time because it'll all come into that area, you know, in here. And then I can build it out. So if it's not, a, you know, if it's a manageable problem, then great. If not, then, you know, it's just something that, I mean, it's just something I think I'm going to have to deal with. Now, I can fix that up in the front best I can. I don't, like I said, I don't know how this water is getting in, but, um, but what I'll do is uh, be able to get it out a lot faster, but with the holes that I drilled on the inside. Uh, but what I'm going to do uh, as a temporary fix and see if it'll slow it down or maybe stop it for, you know, a season or two or whatever, I'm going to get some uh, Gorilla Glue epoxy and I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to smear it on those areas. Uh, and see if that doesn't uh, slow down that water getting into the hole. Now, you'll see also that I've drilled some holes on the sides or where my, you know, that little uh, area is where the uh, bilge pump is uh, so that it would allow water to come out of the hole. Uh, and it did a pretty good job. It uh, drained out fairly quick what water was in there. Uh, so I'm gonna always have a way to if it gets in there, it's going to come into the bilge pump area and then I'll have to pump it out with the bilge pump. And we're going to find out on this trip, this first trip today, uh, just how much water is getting in and, you know, if it's getting in around this. Uh, I really don't have a clear idea of where it all is coming in, but there's just a couple of places that were dripping out. Uh, and it's been on a cut, the boat's been on the water for probably, oh, I'm going to say, maybe three or four hours, three or four hours uh, or more uh, to, and maybe longer to accumulate. I mean, there was, it could have been getting in there when somehow when, when all the rains and everything were coming, um, uh, when it was at the boat shop for all I know, because I haven't been able to, until I drilled these holes, uh, it could have been accumulating, you know, pretty much since it's been ready. So, uh, but it's drained out now and what I'm going to, go ahead and do is, is patch it up best I can. There's okay this is the day after going on a fishing trip which there will be a video of there was some fish caught uh, but this is to tell you uh, what went on with the the leaks and when we got on the lake you know we every from time to time I would check the bilge and nothing would come out of it and we fished for probably four four and a half to five hours and when we got back to the boat ramp and I took the plug out of it. Uh, just a very little bit, you know, of water came out, and that largely could have just been still re residual from the uh, previous, you know, water that had got in it. Uh, that hadn't got up, you know. Once it was the boat was on a real tilt, then it could, you know, could have probably bilged that little bit out, but it just came out through the drain. But there wasn't enough to even get in the bilge when we were on the lake, so. So I'd say that the, the epoxy did a pretty good job. If, 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 if at all, if that's how the water got in it, I can't imagine how the water got in it other than, you know, through the bottom somehow. And I think the epoxy probably uh, sealed those up pretty good. It's probably not a long-term deal, but, uh, but it certainly did work for this time. So my worry that, uh, you know, I'd had the worry that, that possibly that every time I went out on the water, oh my God, water's getting in the boat. And, that's really not going to be the case. So uh, I think with adding the two holes in the back, I kind of knew that that was going to happen eventually. Uh, I just couldn't believe that there would be a completely sealed system. Even if condensation might get in there, it would need to be released out. So uh, I'm glad that I drilled those holes. And that means that, you know, any water that does get in there can escape to that little reservoir area where the bilge pump is and I can pump it out. Of course, I still have to. Now I have to worry that when I don't forget, when I forget to put my uh, uh, put the um, plug in, it'll also fill up in that cavity. So um, 
but it'll drain back out and I won't make that mistake hopefully but um but I'm happy the the boat did great on the lake uh, we caught a few fish it wasn't you know we didn't uh, it wasn't the best effort I could make uh, but but the boat did well and and it had very little water in it and I feel confident I can take it out with no problems thanks